For your warm up today, you will be completing two to three rounds for quality of five push backs plus a push up, which looks like this. Push back into a push up, that's one rep. Push back into a push up, that would be two. You'll complete five of those, followed by 20 seconds in a Spider Man stretch. So that left foot comes right up next to that left hand. Try and sink your hips down to the floor, keeping your back knee off the floor. Then you'll go into your five Cossack squats per side. Cossack squat, just go to where you feel you are able to go. Obviously, Tammy has got a great squat in that bottom position, so she's able to sit all the way down. If you're not able to, just reduce the range like she's doing now. You'll then go into a 20 second table hold. In the table hold, we are looking for shoulder extension. So hips come up to the sky as high as you can. Looking for that nice angle of the shoulder. And then after that, we go into your prone delt lift off. So lying prone on the floor, lift those arms up off the floor and squeeze the scapula nice and tight. You'll then follow that with five static split squats. Set your feet up, knee comes back down to the floor, straight back up. Five reps either side, followed by one wall walk with a 10 second hold at the top of your wall walk. Remember, the top position doesn't necessarily have to look like Tabby's. She's gonna go all the way to the wall. If your position is just 45 degrees to the wall, that is completely fine as well, where she is there. Two to three rounds. For your A work today, you'll be completing three to four sets of Bulgarian split squats, 10 to 15 reps per leg. Now the Bulgarian split squat, Tammy's already set it up. We're looking for three steps away from the bench or your sofa or whatever you have available to you. Now, we're gonna add some load to this movement today. So Tammy is gonna grab the aqua bag and she's gonna load up the Bulgarian split squat in her front rack position. So she picks up the aqua bag, foot goes up to the bench, and she's going two seconds down to the floor where the knee will contact the floor. Straight back up. Good, two more reps. One, two, and up. One, two, and up, and that's 10 to 15 reps and rest. 30 to 45 seconds rest between legs. For your B work, you'll be working strict handstand push-ups and some form of a pulling variation every 90 seconds for eight to 10 alternating sets. For the odd minute, you'll complete two to six strict handstand push-ups. Tammy's gonna do an ab mount under her head just for the safety of her head. After her two to six, at the 90 second mark, she'll then complete four to eight of a pulling variation. Now obviously, like we said before, we've got very varying difficulties with the pulling work. You can do pull-ups all the way down to a towel bent over row. We're gonna show you the aqua bag, hinge at the hip for the bent over row, and row up towards the sternum, straight back down. Add some tempo in there, and have a look at the coach's notes to have a look at a few different options for you guys. For your C work today, you will complete six to eight minutes EMOM of L-sit variation work and also followed by a prone towel pass over. So the L-sit that Tammy's gonna demonstrate is hands on the floor, fingers next to the knees and she's just to simply bring her heels up off the floor and hold for 20 seconds. After that, she'll then go to the next minute which is the prone towel pass over. She has decided to use my T-shirt so that's gonna be stretched the rest of my life. But anyways, remember in the prone towel pass over, we're looking for control, we're looking for symmetry 
as those shoulders pass overhead. Obviously, the more mobile you are, the closer you can bring those hands together. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, today is the first week of your new cycle. So start a little bit more conservative uh, and just be aware that we will be building through the next three weeks. As always, vlog your results into one up and have a great Monday. Thank <laughs> you.